Hello. This video is about resistance and acceptance in this coronavirus world. I'm noticing that there is a lot of resistance, a resistance to change, a resistance around what we can control, and a, and a resistance to accept the reality of what it is that is going on in this situation that we find ourselves in. And things are changing day by day by day by day. So there's also a lot of uncertainty. And the very normal thing to do for us is to begin to resist. So when you feel this pull in this direction, for example, one of the very natural things that we will do is we will tense up our bodies to stop ourselves from being pulled in that direction. So an, uh, an example of that might be if you're going for a walk with a dog, you've got him on the lead and it's the type of dog, uh, if there's anyone, anything like the, uh, the cocky, cocker spaniel that I used to have, he'd pull this way and he'd pull that way and he'd pull you forward and, and there'd be tension in my body the whole time while he was pulling me off in all these different directions. And it would be quite an unpleasant experience. And a similar sort of thing is happening for a lot of us at this at this time through coronavirus is that we're tensing up where we're and we're bracing ourselves for what the next hit is going to be or what the next direction is going to be that we're going to need to have to travel in. And that brings up uncertainty and it brings up fear and anxiety and doubt and worry for a lot of us. And so we tense up against it to try at, as if to try and soften the blow. But that resistance, that tension in our body, not just in the body, but in the mind as well, makes it much harder for us to manage this well. It stops us from being adaptive. It stops us from being creative. It stops us from actually taking full advantage of what it is that we can do in this situation. So there are lots of real positives that can come out of this coronavirus situation. But we have to relax into it a little bit. Rather than resisting and tensing the mind and the body. And also if we can relax the mind and the body, the experience becomes much less unpleasant. Perhaps even, even pleasant or enjoyable or actually quite fun and exciting and we can get enthusiastic about the possibilities that are open to us but it requires us to step away from this resistance and into this relaxed and acceptance of the reality it doesn't mean that we lie lie down and just let the world trample over the top of us think of it more like a, a river the resistance that we're creating is that we're trying to swim up river. We're trying to swim against the flow of the, the river that is this coronavirus situation. Whereas actually the thing to do is to give in to that flow and let ourselves be drawn down this tide of whatever direction this coronavirus is taking us. And to use our energy in steering us in the direction that feels the right direction to be going in. So I've got a couple of things to help with that, to reduce the resistance and therefore lead you into greater acceptance of this reality. One, to make it more pleasant. Two, to make you more creative and open and susceptible to the creativity that might come might come from that as well. So there are two huge benefits from that. So the first is to take a breath. Do it with me now. Taking an inward breath and an outward breath. Emphasising the outward breath. An inward breath and lengthen the outward breath. One last time, an inward breath. And lengthening the outward breath.
emphasizing the outward breath activates the parasympathetic nervous system, the, ner the part of the nervous system that encourages rest and digestion and general relaxation in the body. So that's the first thing. So if you're feeling that anxiety, if you're feeling that worry, if you're feeling that need to control, or you're feeling that resistance to accept, three deep breaths or more, and emphasising the outward breath. The second tool ten comes from this idea that very often the worry and the anxiety and the, the doubt and fear is actually a head thing. We can get ourselves really caught up in the worry of things in our heads. And so that momentum begins to build and we get into this worry cycle like we're on a hamster a hamster in a wheel and we're just going round and round and round we're not going anywhere we're, we're just getting more and more and more anxious and, and more upset in ourselves so rather than having your attention and your focus in your head in your mind bring your attention to your body again please if you choose to do it with me here notice your body Notice your feet on the ground, your legs, your hips. Notice your chest and torso and back, stomach, your shoulders. Be aware of your arms. Be aware of the space around you. Maybe you can hear the bird song in the background. Maybe that's what's going on in the background in the room you're in. Maybe you can hear a clock ticking or a, an electrical appliance humming. Or you can hear traffic outside. This bringing your attention to the body makes you present. It makes you aware of what is happening right now. And whilst sometimes having thoughts about the future and the past can be useful, that hamster wheel thing is not going to help you at all whilst you're trying to find creative and constructive solutions to the challenges that you might be facing through coronavirus. So breathing and awareness of your body help both help to bring you into the present. And in the present, you can let go of a lot of that resistance that you might experience in your body. A third one that you can do that is also kind of kind of body based is body based as well and, and works to bring you into the present is to move is to just randomly move your body, shaking your arms a little bit, jumping up and down, maybe rubbing your body a little bit or, 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 or tapping your body a little bit too. Just brings you all the way down your torso, your legs, all the way down, I'm gonna drop down under the, under the camera and then back again. Again, if you did that with me, it makes you feel more alive, makes you, gets you out of your head, and into your body. So three tools there, three ways in which you can let go of that resistance that you need to be in control or you need, you're struggling to accept the reality and become present with what is happening here and now. I hope that was useful. My name's David Brown. I'm the founder and director of Potentiality Coaching. You can find a lot more resources on the Potentiality Coaching website, www.potentialitycoaching.co.uk. There are blogs and other videos that you can get access to that can help with stress management and to help you be more present rather than allowing yourself to worry and become anxious about things in these uncertain times. Thank you for listening.